Hey folks, 21st Century Father here again, and now I'm going to show you how to add sound effect commands to your Twitch channel using stream elements uh, through OBS Studio. So if you are using regular OBS Studio and you want to use uh, some chat commands that activate, activate sound effects, um, this is a way you can do it through the stream elements bot and this is what I use stream elements so as you can see here my channel is connected to stream elements I have the bot activated that's very important because if it's not activated nothing's going to work um, so the first thing you want to do is actually get this set up as a source for OBS even though we haven't technically if this is brand new you haven't added any sound effects yet but we need to set it we need to set up the source so what we're going to do is actually go to, where is it? My overlays. Now, if you haven't done anything yet, this you won't have any overlays here. But I have overlays for all of my different uh, things. The chat box, sub goal, if I have one. Uh, this is a different set of alerts. Um, and this is the store. So the store is what we're going to want to add. So actually, if there would be nothing here. So what you would do is actually create blank overlay. Resolution 1080p. It doesn't really matter what the resolution is. That's just the canvas resolution. That's not what's going to be going out to Twitch. So what we'll do is add widget. And then go to alerts. Even though it's not really an alert. It's more of a, if it's a chat command. But it's in the alerts section anyway. And what we want to do is add store redemptions. And there it is. We're going to actually clear that image. Because when you play a sound effect, you probably don't care about having an image show up. So we'll do that. We'll leave the sound at 50%. And we'll just leave it like that. Okay, so... There's our, there's that. Now what we want to do is, see this up here? Copy overlay URL. We need the URL, and it's copied to clipboard now, because that is going to be the source for OBS. So what I'm going to do now is pull OBS over here. And we're going to add a source to the scene that I'm using right now to record with. A browser source, because it's a, it's a browser-based bot. So it has to be browser source, and um, and we'll just call it um, store two, I guess. <laughs> okay, and then a window pops up here, and we will. I'm gonna okay delete all of this and then copy. We copied the URL. Now we'll paste it right there. Um, again, the, the width and height, none of that matters because it's just sound. It's not video. And then we want to go ahead and do shut down source when not visible. It's never visible because there's no, <laughs> there's nothing there. So I guess it doesn't matter. And then we'll hit OK. And as you can see, nothing nothing shows up there. So it doesn't matter. It's just a sound source. OK, so the store is there. Um, we also, actually, one other thing we need to do is control audio via OBS. So yeah, I closed out of it too soon. We do need to click this because that way we'll have control over here. Once I click OK, boom, there it is, store 2. Now we can control the volume, so if the, if the effects are too loud or too soft, we can control it here. It's just easier to do that way than having to go into stream elements and fix it there. Alright, so there's that. So it's set up as a source. Okay, we want to hit save. Let me make sure this is... Here we go. Okay, so we want to hit save and overlay name and we'll call it store2 because that's what I called it in the source boom okay so then we'll click back here
and store two is right there. So there it is. This shouldn't interfere with my original um, overlay for that because the the first store is not set up as a source in the scene that I'm using in OBS, so it, it shouldn't interfere. I don't think. I've never never done that before, so I guess we'll find out. Okay, so then we need to go to the stream store. Now, just because it's says store doesn't actually mean anyone's buying anything. We can make all of the redemptions free. Um, so yeah, all I have are sound effects here, but you know, if this is brand new for you, you wouldn't have anything on this screen yet. So we'll create new item. We'll just call it new sound. You don't need to have a description there. And then if you want it to be free for your viewers and not cost any channel points, you want to put zero right there. You can also add down a, a add a, why, why would I say it like that? You should also add a cooldown period if you don't want people spamming it all the time. Uh, you can add it in seconds or minutes or whatever. Okay, then we'll click next, scroll back up, and you can use assets you've already added you know, in the other overlays, but you know, those are, those are all my alerts and those are like GIFs and things like that. So we're just going to, you can uh, upload a sound by clicking upload right here. You can drag and drop a file or select a file from your PC. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and use a sound that's already here. We'll use this fail sound effect and hit submit. Now, if you do add a new sound, you will still have to, you're just adding it to the bank. So you can, so like you can upload it, once you upload a sound, it'll show up in this bank and then you have to select it and hit submit. Okay, right here, this is, uh, this is the important one right here. Want to make sure you remember what you call it. We'll just call it the same thing. Item command, new sound. That's that's the command that's going to re actually play the sound effect. And then go to next. We don't need any requirements for that. And hit save. And there it is down there with the rest of them. Okay, so we've created the item. Now we need to create the command that activates it. Now, there's two ways to do this. Um, one way is silly, and the other way is not silly. The silly way to do it is to actually have your viewers type exclamation point redeem and then the command. But you know what? That's too much to that's too much to type. Who wants to mess with that? So to get around that, we'll make a custom command and use the dollar sign variable and then put in parentheses redeem and then the name of the command so so how does that work well I've already actually set it up right here I did it earlier um, so in the command name you want to type in actually the first thing you want to do is add new command and then this will come up let me get rid of that so yeah, when you add a new command, then this this will come up, and you want to. <clears throat> this is the command name. This is what they. Will, this is what people will actually type out to play the sound. So it will be uh, exclamation point new sound, and then the response, which is what the bot is actually doing, is it's redeeming new sound. So you put in dollar sign, and in the parentheses redeem new sound. And then you would hit save, but I didn't change anything, so I don't need to save it. Okay, so that, I mean, it's a handful of steps to have to go through, but once it's set up properly, um, it should work quite nicely. And then all you have, then the, at that point, all you have to do is you don't have to add the source anymore. You just keep adding items to the store and then creating custom commands for them. So let's go ahead and uh, bring up my Twitch channel and then we'll test it out here. And then 
if I've done this correctly, the uh, the effects should play. And it did play. Um, I didn't hear it because it's not set up to go out to the um, to the output, but it, but it did play. I saw it here, and it pro probably recorded it, so it looks like it did anyway. So that's how you uh, that's how you add sound effects with stream elements. I hope this was helpful, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.